All right, so here we're going to look at probability. And in this video, it's we have two events, and we either want the probability of the first event or the second event. Okay? All right, so here we have suppose two fair dice are rolled. Find the following probabilities. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to write out a sample space. Okay, if you've watched my videos on probabilities, probability one, two, and three, I can't remember which video, but we rolled two dice, and I showed how to draw out the sample space in it. Uh, so if you've seen that, you can skip through this part. I'm just going to go over that again. So what we have here is we have, we'll call this the first, or one, two, three, four, five, and a six, and then we've got a one, two, three, four, five, and a six, okay? And we'll break this up into a, trying to make a table. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll call this one the the first dice, the first die, and this one the second. Okay, so you can see I can get a one and a one. Okay, I can get a one and a two. It kind of looks like an H, don't it? I can get a one and a three, a one four, one five. One six, and then I can get a two and a one, a two and a two, a two and a three. So hopefully you can see how this is going. I'm going to pause the video and finish filling out the table. All right, so I finished filling out the table. Here's all the possible outcomes. There's 36 of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the first problem. So we want to know the probability the first die shows a 3 or the sum of the results is 8. So what I'm going to do is shows a 3. We're going to call that event E and the sum or the sum of the results. We'll call the sum of the results. We'll call that event F. So I want to know the probability of E or F. Okay. Another way we can write or is we can write E or E union F. E or F. Okay. So what's the probability of this? Well, the probability of E or F is equal to the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of E and F. This means and. Okay? So it's the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of what they have in common. Okay? So let's look at this. So the probability of E. So the probability the first die shows a 3. Okay, so what's the probability that the first die shows a 3? Well, you see this row here? See how the first die is a 3? That's this one. Okay, that's the probability that the first, or that's the number of outcomes where it shows a 3. 
So the probability of E is the number of successful outcomes, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over the number of possible. And there's 36 possible outcomes. So the probability of E is, uh, is 6 over 36 plus the probability of F. Well, where's the sum 8? Well, let's go down here and look. Which ones add up to 8? Well, that would be 5 in common. Basically what we did is we counted this one in here and we counted it in this one. So we counted this one twice. That's why we need to subtract it out. So the probability of E and F is 1. That's the number of successful outcomes is 1 over the number of possible outcomes which is 36. So that would be minus 1 over 36. So that would be 10 over 36. And that reduces to 5 over 18. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Okay, so here I want the first die shows a 2 or the sum of the results is 4 or 5. So we'll say shows a 2, that's event E, and the sum of re the results is 4 or 5, we'll call that event F. So I want to know the probability of E or F which is equal to the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of E intersect F. Okay, so let's erase this. All right, so let's find the probability of E. The first die shows a two. Okay, well, where does the first die show a 2? That's this row here. See, the first die is a 2. So that's this one. Okay, so the probability that the first die shows a 2, the number of successful outcomes, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over the possible outcomes, 36, okay, plus the probability of F. The sum of the results is 4 or 5. So where does it add up to 4 or 5? Well, let's see. That would be Uh, 
all of those. Okay. Okay. So how many add up to five? To four or five? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the number of successful would be seven over the possible 36. Okay, and then we have to subtract off what they have in common. Okay, well, what do they have in common? Well, you can see. Here, these two here is where they overlap. See? The 2, 2, and the 2, 3. So we have to subtract this out. So the number of successful is 1, 2. over the number of possible. And so this is going to be 11 over 36. All right, so now let's take a look at the last problem. Let's see if I can get in here and erase this. All right. So, the next problem, let me erase this second here. All right, so we have, we have the sum is 10, so we'll call this event E, or the second die shows a 6. So second die shows a 6, we'll call that event F. So the probability of E or F is equal to the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of E and F. Okay. So E, the sum, is 10. So let's see what that is. That's going to be that's those Okay, so there's one, two, three. That's the number of successful. So that's three over 36 plus the probability of F. The second die shows a six. So here is where the second die Oh, that didn't go up to there. And there's the second die shows a six. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the number of successful outcomes is six over. six over 36 minus what they have in common. Well, this right here is the only one they have in common, which is one over 36. And so that's going to be eight over 36. And so eight over 36 that's going to be two nights. Okay, so I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks.